What's up guys, we are going to try to get this Dell Optiplex 5060 up and running again. I just installed some RAM. Don't have any optical, well that does have an optical drive. Um, pretty solid machines are just old and out of date now. But overall not bad computers. Uh, going to put Windows probably 11 on it and there it might even it might not technically support windows 11 but uh we'll probably get around that and put it on there and probably put this up for auction where i work at but uh, let's put this back together you know i gotta say one thing about dale because they do a good job of making it really easy to just put everything back together there you know this thing just pops off pops off you know, pops back on real easy. Real easy to get into and out of most of the time. And you know, just drop this back on there and we're good. Well, you know, we gotta clean this baby up a little bit. Smingo squirt. For glamour shots. And you know, we gotta shut up the old Dell. Get it looking good. I mean, this thing it has an M.2 and it's 8 gigs of RAM. It's a good desktop for somebody. Uh, you know, I, I mean, it's not bad shape. Overall, looks sleek still. I don't know, it's not a bad desktop. But uh, let's hook it up. 11 does work on the Optiplex 5060. Woo, it's actually installing with no no extra things to do like editing the bridge edit and stuff like that so yeah we'll see how it works here in a bit all right so we've got the computer in audit mode now windows 11 audit mode so we can upgrade it or update it uh you can control shift f3 to get the audit mode i always leave this little guy up because sometimes it's hard to find but uh, yeah, we want to make sure everything's like all the drivers and stuff's installed for the next per for the person who gets this. Let's check updates, let them install it, and yeah. So let's see what this guy's running here. System about so it's got eight gigs of RAM, you know, i5 8500 CPU. Not the greatest, but not the worst. Uh, I mean, yeah, not a bad, bad computer at all. Mm, 250 gigs of storage. So, good, good starting computer. I would definitely put a video card or something in this. Uh, these. The i5 8500 doesn't hold up very well for video, in my opinion, in 2024. But uh, let's get this guy updated, and uh, we'll see if we can make it run a little better. Maybe do a, a stress test. You know, after updating and getting this on Windows 11, I mean, this thing is actually pretty snappy. I mean, it I think runs well. Uh, you know, stuff's loading kind of fast. Hard drive's a little slow, but I'd say that's from... You know, only 8 gigs of RAM. Man, upgrading this to like 16 or 32 would be nice. Like some actual good RAM. Even a has no off. This has no, you know, dedicated video card. And it's okay. Uh, you know. I was going to do a performance test. Uh, it's not at 9 a.m. That's wrong. That can affect things sometimes. Eastern. There we go. Anyways, I mean, this is a solid desktop for somebody starting out. You know, pass mark's okay. We need to do a user benchmark. Just to see kind of what we'll get here. Like I said, this has no... No dedicated memory, so it's kind of pointless. Even that's 
performing okay. Alright, so we got this. Alright, so we got this going. Let's see. We don't need to test the GPU because it's kind of pointless. Let's go. This is definitely different. Pro. FPS low GPU 26%. CPU. Polling low. Low pole. 450 hertz. Running, running, running. On 16 RAM. It's busting through the RAM. I'm liking this new uh, user benchmarks. Kind of nice. Hard drive seems to be reading pretty fast. Or writing. I mean, like I said, this is not a bad computer. But it's just getting a little old. I mean, it runs Windows 11. What else do you want? But, uh... Yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you like this type of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow me over on Twitter at this mango and check out techholler.com.